the leaflet. I also, because I've phoned the IOPC, I've asked for 10 complaints to come out, I've got two ready to be filled in. Okay. I phoned the CPS because I've come in and I've got Weber on camera yep. constantly telling me, oh, it's with the CPS, the CPS is to blame for <coughs> you not getting your leaflets back. Mm. I had the, the number of the CPS, because mm. obviously they must have viewed when my statement was given on the, on the thing, because it wasn't a very polite urine. They give me the reference number. Yep. The last time they were in court was on the 24th of October. And I said, what do you mean? It was a preliminary urine. Yep. They said, you didn't have to be there. Yep. We had no contact with Merthyr, Merthyr Magistrates Court after that. Right. Because when I came in and I said, which I said to you on the phone, about me phoning for my mental health records yep. and the police being phoned and then charges dropped at the magistrates, you said, I know. Now, Weber's trying to make out the police wasn't informed. Well, we all know the police was informed. Why is he lying? Why can't I get a simple question? Yeah. Why is it I've come in countless times because that night I was arrested because yeah. you're not charging. It was an unlawful arrest. Yeah. And I was detained for 24 hours with no charges. So I was unlawfully detained. Yeah. For 24 hours, I was imprisoned. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I've asked, so you make a note. Okay, well, this is make, make a note, make a note. No, no, I've no, asked, no I've come in a few times and I've asked for the arresting point. officer. Yeah, I me. want the name of the arresting officer. Yeah. There was a sergeant who came with him that night and yeah. didn't show any identification. He had it all hidden up. Yeah. I want their names for right. obvious reasons when I put a complaint in for the wrongful arrest. And every time I come in and ask for the arresting officer, yeah. they all give me Weber and his number. He's the officer dealing with it. That's he right. wasn't the one who arrested me. No, right. And for a complaint to go in, I've got to have the arresting yeah. officer. And I want the sergeant who was telling them what to do. That's fine. Right, that's go on then, you have your little say. Right. The communication <coughs> that has, I found quite difficult. Because you're obviously very emotional about all the things that have happened to you. Uh, and that's fine, I understand that to an extent, because this has happened to you, it hasn't happened to me. So... It's going to be one of them, let's be no. Is, no. it, is it any point in us talking? Is it going to be one well, of these covering well, up? Tell you what, you listen to what I've no. got to say. Go on there. And then you tell no. me whether this no. is the Carry same on. as you've had before. So uh, I found that very difficult in terms of knowing exactly what you want because a lot of it is quick fired at me. Um, you're obviously recording it. I, I'm not recording anything. I did tell you. Uh, I don't feel the need to. Right. I, I, I've got nothing to hide and uh, you know I'm happy you're recording it. There's no issue with that. So. I find that very difficult in terms of a lot of what you you say is quite quickly, you fire it out and you say you want to know X, Y and Z, uh, and that's fine because they're things... When I've played it back on the but camera, when I've asked them, it was fine. Then, would you feel better then? Yes. If, if he didn't uh, con converse at you, if he put everything down there right you know, Do, do you know what, that was exactly no, what I was because what, going to say. Yeah, but then the problem is, Mum, and they know it, because don't forget there's been an unholy alliance made between Comtav the police and them. All right, I'd rather it on camera where there's no arguing. He can write it down. There's no excuse for him not writing down and finding out. Do you understand? So what, what, I was what we're not having is any more delaying tactics. No. So what I was going to say is today, to make this more productive for all of us, is that if we can go slowly through it, you can tell me exactly what you want. I'll document those questions and we'll agree them. Uh, and then it will be a lot easier for me to actually say, right, two points, one or whatever, whatever the question Carry may on. be, yeah. uh, this is the answer for you. Carry on. So are we right doing that? Yeah. yeah. So let's go through and start well, to make a note. If we can work backwards, because fine. that's easier for you me. You ask what, and if I feel you're leaving something out, I'll come back. So one of the questions which is apparent is that... Well, one of the things I want, first of all, right. because I made, I don't know how many phone calls reporting antisocial behaviour. Yeah. Yeah? C can... For me, to make it easier, can we go back? You do it, yeah. Well, there so, we are. I don't want you to say... The you. most recent case, right. so the case you've been in court for. So, um, one of the questions was around the leaflets, wasn't it? Yeah, my so, property should be returned. Ask for it to be returned. I'm not asking, I'm saying I want it returned. No, that's fine. Return of... Oh, if you don't return them, you say you destroyed them, you better have a cheque for £630. Yeah, no, that's fine. So, the answer... And I don't mean in a month's time, I mean soon. Because I've looked at that one. Yeah. So, the answer to that question is, it would appear that the leaflets have been destroyed. And you owe me £630. So the, the correct way to do that is ideally you would write to legal services and make a claim for compensation for the leaflets. 
Right. So I can provide